Hi guys, welcome to Chef Mooney coming to you from Mooney's Kitchen. Today's recipe is healthy. Selection of vegetables, it's a side dish. So I'm gonna do two recipes in one. I'm gonna do a chicken, lemon myrtle chicken, and we're gonna do the selection of vegetables. Now, here's the lemon myrtle that I'm gonna use. An Australian native herb, and it's got a delicious lemony flavor, and I think, um, you're going to enjoy this recipe very much, especially if you are edging towards not having any meat and you just want vegetables. Let's go over our vegetables. I've got, I would say, close to two, two to three cups of each, and you want a large pan as well. Now, obviously, if you go a bit crazy with the vegetables and they don't fit in the pan, you can do a couple of batches. So, stick with me on this one, and let's go over our ingredients broccoli. Capsicum yellow and red, one whole sweet red onion. I'm using three cloves of garlic, a little bit of fresh parsley, red cabbage, I love red cabbage, celery, carrot. At the end, I'm gonna to toss in some baby spinach, about a cup, not a lot there. And we're gonna use some olive oil, sesame seeds, and that's pretty much it. Um, now, if you wanna Put some chicken on there, I'm gonna use some chicken breast. You could also use a fillet steak, you could go with fish, uh, anything, anything at all. Let's get started by cooking the vegetables first and then we'll get the chicken ready. Come on guys, let's get cooking. Start by putting some olive oil in the pan. You want a good couple of tablespoons of olive oil. And toss in the onion. Just want to cook this on a medium low heat. We're not looking to brown it. Just till they're nice and soft for about a minute or so. And I'm going to throw in the celery and the carrot. Okay, so I've turned the heat down to medium low. I'm gonna put a lid on now. And I just wanna cook that for a couple of minutes. It's time to add my red cabbage now. And red cabbage is also a vegetable that takes a little longer to cook. And that's why that's going in now. Pop the lid back on, let it steam for a bit. I've got a couple of chicken breast here which I've kind of butterflied a little bit to make them all the same level and I've got salt and pepper on there. I'm gonna sprinkle some of that beautiful lemon myrtle all over that chicken, give it that nice flavor. And I've also put a little bit of olive oil on the top as well, so into our pan, skin side down. A little bit of pepper on that side. Touch of salt. And again, some of that lemon myrtle Let's have a look at our vegetables, coming along nicely. In with the capsicum, red and green, followed by the broccoli. I'm going to toss in my garlic, roughly chopped. Get the lid on and then just let it cook for another couple of minutes. We're looking for some nice colour on this. Okay, let's turn it over now. Perfect, I'm happy with that. That's in some of the thickest part of the chicken. And we'll go down to here. Yeah, it's climbing up, I'm happy with that. That's definitely cooked. Look at that, 82, 83, and rising. So we're in the safety zone, guys. Okay, so turn the pan off and just let it rest. Let's check out our vegetables. Delicious, look at that. Cannot get healthier than that. And the steam causes its own little sauce as well, so you don't have to make anything, no creamy sauces. We're trying to keep this very healthy. Now it's the time to toss in our spinach and that's going to wilt through. Stir that through now. 
sprinkle some sesame seed, sprinkle of lemon myrtle. Okay, I didn't add this into the recipe ingredients, but I just want to add a little bit of um, chili. You don't have to add chili to it. Leave the seeds in if you like a little bit of kick to it. We all like chili in this house. Drizzle of olive oil. Fresh parsley. You could even use um, fresh mint. Okay, slice up the chicken. And again, you can keep it separate. That way, if you have vegetarians, or people who don't like chicken, um, they can help themselves should they want to. The juice is coming out of that chicken. Look how moist and delicious it is. Little touch of olive oil on the chicken. A bit of chili for heat. Gorgeous vegetables. Just a just a beautiful selection of colours and then that gorgeous beautiful chicken finished off so very nicely. Well I hope you give that recipe a try. Thank you for tuning in and until my next recipe I will see you have a great safe week. See you next time.